Oh, but <laughs> I mean, he clearly pulled them, I think, by the, you know, watch it again here now, there's a good tackle, and then I think that, you know, there was a little bit of, yeah, definitely he, he swung him around. Um, maybe, you know, six and one half, doesn't it? But that's definitely a foul. The referee will always give that. You see it there, Richie used to push him to the ground, and, uh, you know, this, this gives a chance now to Joe Canning, whereas it wasn't a scoreable free, um, but when the referee brings it forward and it's supposed to be brought forward 30 metres, that could be 15 or 16 metres, so this is definitely a chance. The important thing is not to hit a wide, Marty. He's just a few metres outside the Kid Kenny 65 metre line. There you go. That's where he is. Now, it's dropping over the crossbar. It's a goal and three points for Joe Canning. Niall Burke with two points, and although it's early days, almost 16 minutes gone, but Joe Canning is becoming the central figure. Yeah, that was a great free, Marty, you know, pressure free, and uh, that shows that Joe's on his game. The early goal, of course, will have built his confidence in excellent free taker, excellent skills all round, and uh, when he's playing well, you know, that's a great um, Philip for Galway. 16 minutes, 12 seconds gone in the first half. The All-Ireland champions yet to score. Here is Cyril Donnelly on the run. He hits it, and it's left and wide. Back in uh, 2010, there was a crowd of 31,376. I think the crowd today is a lot smaller. But what entertainment those who have paid the uh, tickets into this Leinster Hurling final so far. Entertainment in terms of the skill of Galway. Kenny unable to cope so far and the scoreline of almost 17 minutes gone and Kilkenny nowhere near scoring by Henry Shefflin's free. Sideline ball to Galway just inside their 45 metre line. Johnny Cohn. Yeah, just got another shot there was Damien Hayes, that's down you know what, 40 metres from their own goal and he's, he's roaming and he's going back into the defence so if Galway's fitness will hold out and they're certainly putting up a major challenge to Kilkenny. Centre half back now, but knocks it back by Damien Haynes. Under a bit of pressure. Has to get Hogan is the central defender for Kilkenny. Comes out as Johnny Cohn. Swings it over to the opposite side. Over towards the Hogan stand. A race for possession. Going down, lovely stick work again. This time by Connor Cooney. St. Thomas's man. All Ireland minor medalist two years ago. Gives it back to David Collins. The right corner back. He's been out all season. And he rarely scores, but he does it in Croke Park in a Leinster hurling final, which is becoming more than just interesting. Well, Marty, you look up at the clock, almost 80 minutes gone, and no score for Kilkenny on the board, and the only chance they had was a free from Henry Shefflin. But this is, you know, the type of player that Galway are playing. Short ball, committing uh, Kilkenny to one-on-ones, and they're, they're winning that battle hands down. Sent back by the captain of Galway, Fergal Moore. Kilkenny, however, survived this particular onslaught. It's Richie Hogan sending it down towards Finale. The good hard working Johnny Cohen takes the, the shoulder straight on from Richie Power. Johnny Joe Cannon backfires Johnny Cohen. Light on the feet, but strong in terms of the physical strength. The referee's whistle has blown. There's a tap down and there's a free out for Kilkenny. Well, I'd like to look at that again, Marty. I think he attempted to play the ball and just um, you know came into contact with Brian Hogan's hurley. Um, I don't think there was that much about it, but um, I'd like to see it again. David Herity coming out to take this free. Kick any lads. You can know by the close-up of our cameras there that they're a little bit worried at the moment. This is not supposed to be happening. They're not used to this, Marty. They're not used to it. Ball comes down. Tapped down by Richie Power. Tony O'Regan is protesting vehemently, and as a result of the protest, there's an extra 13 metres. He's explaining to the Galway defenders that there was a pull of the jersey, which he saw, and if that is correct, well, then he's dead right to give the free. Let's have a look at it here. Well, I didn't see a whole thing. I didn't, no, no, I didn't see anything wrong. I didn't think there was a free in or a free out, Marty. Henry Shefflet, 19 and a half minutes gone in this Leinster final. And that's the very first score for Kilkenny. It was lovely skill here from Richie Power, but the jersey pull was there. We can see it there. Oh, yeah, we see from that angle, yeah. Yes. The referee picked it up. Ball comes out for his early tenth. Rebounds over for his Neil Dunham. Flick on as far as Andy Smith. 
made his championship debut in 2008 against Leach. Sliding along the ground, almost gathering his shield on. He has it now. Away he goes. Trying to look to see if anybody's inside. Difficult enough angle. Hovering over here is David Park. Ball breaks free from Tommy Watch. Doesn't concede the 65. Look where Richie Hogan is. Playing almost a right corner back in an effort to try and get possession for the Cats. Henry Shuffler, Richie Park. Ball breaks free for his early ten. Lovely little flick up. And he is beginning to blossom. Hits the shoulder of Owen Larkin. Joe Cannon almost sandwiched by two Kilkenny Cats. And it comes back for his ear, Latanya. Lays it off for his Dunlan. Dunlan from good team, Bally Mackward. In East Galway is fouled. And that is a free in for Galway. Tremendous heart, passion from the tribesmen. As Kilkenny step up the challenge. Yeah, that's the second free by um, Brian Hogan now, and that shows that uh, Kilkenny under pressure very seldom do they give away a free in those areas. But the whole key to Galway's um, offensive um, plan is that they're using the short ball and they're committing to the Kilkenny defence to one on ones. And um, normally Kilkenny like to play as a you know as a unit um, and to suck up the, the forwards into um, you know into in, into a, a, a channel and then they, they, they snuff out the chances. But Galway are creating one on ones here, massive uh, possession as you see. Look at that statistic, Donald. 61% possession for Galway. Well, Kilkenny one score in 19 and a half minutes, uh, Marty. Joe Canning raises another white flag. That's a goal and four points as Brian Cody reflects what's happening on the field with a change in his team. Aidan Fogarty, who we've seen so many times score crucial goals, is the man that's selected to join the Kilkenny attack. Further out the field, it seems to be that Galway are dominant. Colin Fenley with that injury seems to be the source of their difficulty. Coming away with it is Damien Hayes. Lays it off. Farrell's Donlan. Donlan steadies. Donlan shoots. And Cyril Donlan scores. His first in this Leinster hurling final. Scored 1 1 against Westmead, 3 against Offaly, and 1 against Kilkenny. And coming on is number 22, Aidan Fogarty from the Emeralds Club in Kilkenny. And going off is Colin Fennelly, who seemed to pick up an injury in the early stages. Yeah, shipped a heavy tackle, but Kilkenny haven't got the grips at all with um, the roving uh, Damien Hayes, and he's creating fierce problems for Kilkenny, getting onto a loaded ball and then um, using it very, very well. And that's the difference while we're using the ball. Ball inside, Forrest David Ford, what can he do? He can score! Magnificent goal! Wow! What a shocker in Croke Park when you least expect it! Everybody thought Kilkenny were unbeatable. It's early, it's only 23 minutes in the first half, but look at the scoreline, and look at this for a cracking goal. David Burke, take it out, Galway. Fantastic strike, Marty, but that's the whole thing. The ball has been used, they're coming off the defenders very, very well, and they're getting the ball then. There's no aimless ball being struck in, and you know when you look at the, the scoreline, 2-8 to a point, if you walked in, you think that the scoreboard was wrong, that Kilkenny should be up, and uh, Galway really giving Kilkenny a lesson today. Henry Shefflin coming in to get first clean ball. Right beside him is the Andy Smith, Damien Hayes, Cyril Donald. Lovely little flick up. And look at the hard shoulder on Paul Murphy. Four Galway players around one Kilkenny man. Can Kilkenny get to terms with this challenge? On Larkin. Back quickly for his Killian Buckley. Gives the ball in fast and furious. But it's a Galway man that's there. Johnny Cole. He certainly has a great engine because he's been everywhere so far. The ball is deflected. It is. One and only Tanya flicks it forward, he's run out of ground, and that's a sideline ball for Kilkenny. It's breathless stuff in Crook Park. Well, Marty Galway completely dominating around the middle of the field, you know, and it's uh, Michael Fenley, of course, and Michael Rice. Their two top midfielders are out injured, and uh, Kilkenny are really um, shell shocked at the moment. You know, 25 minutes gone almost, and uh, just one point in the board, and that's from a free. Sideline ball taken by Richie Doyle. Slither in the middle of that scramble. Richie Power is there with the green and gold helmet. But coming away with it is Collins. Loses possession, however. And it's a free for Kilkenny as Richie Hogan gathered the ball. The free James McGrath is going to have a word. Just a ticking, in fact, with David Collins. Yeah, Collins was a little unlucky there. Richie Hogan seemed to tackle him high. Just giving a little push for the lost the ball somewhere. He had it in his possession, lost the ball somewhere. Well, they just saw themselves on the screen. 
<laughs> and it went from a, a glum face to a very happy face. Must be the only Kilkenny man that's happy at the moment, I'd say, as Henry Scheffler takes the fray. And that is going left and wide. It is not often that Henry Scheffler disappoints his manager. Well, it just shows, Marty, you know, when, when you're under pressure, you're under pressure, and uh, Sheffield has gone now in full forward, and um, whatever Kilkenny are trying to do, they're taking off. I think um, Paddy Hogan at this stage, I just mentioned that they're under pressure midfield, and uh, I think they're going to introduce Michael Rice. Ball goes down far as the aforementioned Paddy Hogan. Goes long. Good hands again by Johnny Cohen. He's like a vacuum cleaner back there. He's sweeping up everything. Gives it to Tony O'Regan, son of horse. The horse Reagan will be proud of the sun this afternoon if they maintain this. Tommy Walsh gathers, has to send it low. Good call by Walsh. Kid Kenny used the fast ball in, and again it's Johnny Cohn. Almost miscued it, but going back there is his captain, Fergal Moore, Turlock Moorman. Goes long as Galway continue to try and put the pressure on this Kid Kenny defence. The linesman, Brian Gavin from Offaly, gives it to Galway. Correct decision. Sideline ball going to be taken by David Burke as Kilkenny now make the change. Coming on is Michael Rice. Going off is Paddy Hogan. So a change in the middle of the field. Rice, a vital component. That midfield combination for Kilkenny of Michael Fenley and Michael Rice has worked so powerfully in the past. Sometimes Rice is named at centre forward, but usually around that triangle. Joe Canning gives it back for as David Park, and he hits it sweetly, beautifully inside the post. It's a goal and a point for David Park, captain of the minor team, beaten by the by Kilkenny in the All Ireland final of 2008. But this will gain some bit of revenge. A wonderful score. Great score there from David Park, with it, you know, and um, audacious little um, sideline to him. But uh, you think Kilkenny will be looking for that? TJ Reid leaves it off first, Killian Buckley takes on the challenge, trying to break down this goal with the fence. Comes back outside first, Hogan, hard-working Richie back there as well. It's uh, Richie Hogan and it's goal where they come away with it. The ball bobbling all over the place, it's David Collins, gives it law. One and one between Hogan and Niall Burke, nipping in however and laying it off first. The number 22 is Aidan Fogarty, operating around the half-forward line. Fogarty goes for a score and the umpire says it's wide well well the wide gives us a chance to breathe a little bit good defending here by Galway yeah well there was a chance for Richie Hogue to knock it over the bar I think at one stage and uh, you know I think there was they had it in their mind to look for goals but uh, you know points will do them still you know they'll need to get three or four or five points maybe back on the board and because if they're going to try and go for goals to the mast Galway the defence well they'll be setting things up for the defence comes back fires Brian Hogan Goes long, it's two against one up here. Back there is Johnny Cohen, Henry Shefflin's moved in full forward, a tactic we've seen so many times in the past. Coming away with it is Fergal Moore, twice an All-Ireland minor winner in 1999 and 2000. Are these players finally beginning to blossom to senior level? Ball breaks kindly for Cyril Donlan, who's already scored once in this first half, trying to make an anger for himself. He's going for it again, is it good enough? It is beautiful! It is Cyril Donlan with his second point. And look at the scoreboard on your television screens. 28 minutes, almost 29. Galway, 2-10. Kilkenny, one point. The point from a free by Henry Shefflin after 19 and a half minutes. Richie Powell from the middle of the field drives it in. Gathering it is the goalkeeper, James Scal. This is a Galway defence that conceded seven goals, 27 points to Westmead and Offaly. They have now kept the Leinster and All-Ireland champions virtually scoreless for almost a half an hour. What has uh, happened? They've, they've got their matchups very, very good up. The, you know, they're putting the Kilkenny defence, um, you know, the half back lane under severe pressure, and this is the half back lane that normally launches attacks for Kilkenny, but they're finding it very, very difficult to get anything from, uh, from Galway here. Sideline cut from Tommy Walsh, comes straight to Joe Canning. Nice ball inside to Cyril Donnan, who's now taken up residence at the edge of the square. Trying to keep him out is uh, Noel Hickey. Difficult angle for Dumlin. Not difficult at all is his response. It's his third point of the first half. Three against Offaly, three against Kilkenny. Well, 
you know, Kilkenny looked um, you know, badly rattled the Marty and uh, Tommy Walsh there with the sideline that he took straight across the field to Joe Kenny and there was one target inside that was Sir Donner and he has the legs and Noel Hickey and that's been very tough for Galway so far. Three points from Sir Donner and they're going very well.